vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. A supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. Supersonic uh, electric jet. Flying faster for cheaper has always been the dream for the future and over the years, air travel costs have decreased significantly as a result of the revolutionizing of the industry and surely at some points the world will look exactly like the Jetsons utopian future. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one. Let me take you back to the 80s. The Concorde was recognized as the plane that would single-handedly dominate the next century. A typical flight from New York to London would usually take seven hours on a normal plane. With the Concorde, this flight would average at half of that time at 3.5 hours. However, this plane, as we all well know, had many issues, so it wasn't quite as revolutionary as we first thought. Fuel was expensive and the plane had many issues. The expense of the fuel limited the plane's range and it was extremely noisy and disturbed people as it passed by. It's also said that the plane was terrible for the environment, destroying the ozone layer at a shocking rate. So what would you say if I told you there's a new supersonic plane on the horizon coming soon? This is all thanks to Tesla and it's where their supersonic vertical takeoff and landing jet comes into play. Wow, that actually really is like the Jetsons. At some point, um, I have a design in mind for an electric supersonic vertical takeoff and landing plane. And I think there's a particular opportunity for um, a supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. Supersonic uh, electric jet. Vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. A supersonic electric vertical takeoff and landing jet. An, an electric jet. It's a machine that Elon Musk himself has been dreaming of building for years. In this video, I'm going to go over how soon Tesla will disrupt the airline industry as we know it. Kind of like what they've done to the car and the space industry. But back to planes. The transition to electric vehicles has been accelerating across our lifetimes. They can be faster, they're cheaper to maintain, and are also cheaper than internal combustion engines. In planes, we're yet to see this transition even begin. This comes down to constraints around energy density in current batteries. Simply put, the batteries we have today simply cannot fuel a plane during the entire flight. Even with cars, we are still at a point where a single charge won't be enough for a long road trip. But Tesla have been getting ready to release a battery with higher density than previous lithium-ion batteries. Lots of battery experts will say that 400 watt-hours per kilogram is the point at which batteries are dense enough to allow for vertical takeoff and landing, also known as VTOL. This is exactly what it sounds like. It's the ability to take off and fly straight up and land like a drone. This kind of technology is used in lots of military aircrafts and is especially helpful when used in environments that don't have enough space for a horizontal and more usual takeoff. A compelling aircraft, you only really need about 400 watt hours per kilogram, provided your, the, your, the percentage of cell on the craft, on the, on the aircraft is high. It doesn't need to be anywhere near as high as the, it is on a rocket, um, but if it's sort of at the 70% level um, at 400 watt hours per kilogram, um, you can do very decent range. Elon himself has said to have a compelling aircraft, you only really need about 400 watts per kilogram. Provided the percentage of the cell on the aircraft is high, it doesn't need to be anywhere near as high as a rocket. But if it's at the 70% level on the 400 watts per kilogram, you can do a very decent range. Elon stated that 400 watt hours per kilogram with a high cycle life and producing volume is not very far-fetched and is likely to happen in the next three to four years and he's already designed a VTOL jet. He is prepared to make one just as soon as the battery density allows him to do so. And let's face it, once Elon sets his mind on something, it's not long before we see it in practice. Now, have you ever looked at planes and gone, I could fix this? I just don't have the yeah. time. I busy making have a design for a plane. You do? Yes. A better design? I mean... Probably, I think it is, yes. Well, who have you talked to about this? And I've talked to friends. Friends? And friends and... I'm your friend. Girlfriends and... You can tell me. <laughs> 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 what do you got? What's going on? Well, I mean, the exciting thing to do would be some sort of electric vertical takeoff and landing, supersonic jet of some kind. Vertical takeoff and landing, meaning no need for a runway. Just shoot up straight yes. in the air and then... 
So we do know that Elon has a design for Tesla VTOL jet. As I covered in the beginning of this video, the Concorde failed to become a mainstream mode of air travel for three key reasons. The expense of fuel, the noise of the plane, and the environmental damage to the ozone layer. Tesla's upcoming electric plane addresses and eliminates each of these three issues. Firstly, electricity is much cheaper than fuel. Secondly, if you've ever been near an electric car, you'll know that electric power is so much quieter than engines. They are so quiet that they've even had serious conversations about manufacturing fake engine sounds on electric cars. So if I were to go down here now and shift it into drive, I'll be quiet, you're, you're gonna hear this kind of hum. But we're pretty sure that people will be much happier with a quieter plane flying over their house. And even the passengers will be happier on board without the roar of the engines over the entire flight. Finally, there wouldn't be much, if any, direct damage to the ozone layer because the plane is running on electricity. All of these factors make perfect sense when it comes to the production of electric planes. Typically, when considering gas-powered planes, the higher you go, the less efficient the plane is. On the other hand, with electric planes, the higher altitude make the plane more efficient. Elon Musk has discussed this before, so pay close attention because this has massive potential. Like the, I think the optimal sort of air transport solution is a VTOL uh, electric supersonic plane. Um, and, and it actually works together quite well for a, a bunch of reasons. Um, uh, in, in, in particular, the higher you go, the the better the electric, the more efficient the electric aircraft is. Whereas if you have a combustion aircraft, as you as you get higher, it, get, it tends to get worse because uh, you have a kind of a fixed aperture uh, and uh, air scoop. Yeah, like the, the engine is uh, the hole in the front of the engine is 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 a fixed size, and so you have to pick a particular cruising altitude, and so you've got to figure out how do you uh, get the right amount of air at sea level all the way through really high altitude. Um, and then you've got this issue of super, supersonic combustion that you know you see you end up having to slow the air down and, and it ends up being um, not, not that efficient. But an electric after aircraft would just get better and better as, as it got uh, higher. Because electric aircraft gets more efficient the higher you go, this will actually allow for supersonic speeds. I'm talking far faster than you can even imagine. This is all because as you get higher, the air gets thinner, so it results in less air resistance. The theory that Elon explained in the clip is all about how gas engines, you need to get the right amount of air in order to operate them efficiently. This does not apply to electric airplanes as they travel higher and higher. The lessening of the air resistance allows the plane to go faster and faster. This is why it's so much easier to fly in space than in the Earth's atmosphere. In order to go really fast with a plane, you have to climb pretty, pretty high because the atmosphere just looks like molasses when you're going fast. Uh, so you, you know, for distances certainly under 500 miles, you spend all your time just ascending and descending. And you don't really get an opportunity to spend time at cruise. Uh, so something like a Hyperloop can comp complete really well in that arena because uh, you, you instantly, or very almost instantly, enter a low pressure environment. Elon explained this when he was first proposing his Hyperloop project, which looks to create a supersonic train built inside a tunnel. In order to reach these fast speeds with a plane, you need to climb pretty high because of the nature of the atmosphere. For distances under 500 miles, at the moment, you spend all your time ascending and descending without the opportunity to cruise. So with the example of the Hyperloop train, it can compete really well because almost instantly in a tunnel, you're at a low pressure environment. Estimating the speed that an electric plane will go is extremely difficult. This is because the technology is still at such an early stage. In terms of miles per hour, Rolls-Royce have been looking to make an electric plane that could fly up to 300 miles per hour. But Tesla could easily outcompete that by a substantial amount, given their far superior battery technology and design. Wherever a new technology comes into the playing field, the long dominating companies need to make a serious decision. Do they go all in with innovation or stick to what they've been doing for years? Most of the time, these companies will opt for sticking with what they know and run the risk of becoming obsolete and uncompetitive. Examples of this are companies like Nokia and Blockbuster, so we do know this happens all the time. Boeing Airbus may also get disrupted very soon. Well. It seems unlikely to come from Boeing or Airbus, given that they seem to be focused on very incremental improvements to the planes as opposed to radical improvements. 
even Elon think so, because the companies have become extremely risk averse. This makes sense until you get disrupted. It seems unlikely that any disruption will come from Boeing Airbus, given that they seem to keep their focus very incremental improvements on the planes rather than radical improvements overall. An electric plane really does start to make sense when batteries are dense enough to allow for supersonic flight. In addition, Tesla's goal has always been to accelerate the world into a sustainable future and in order to do so, the company must disrupt the air industry as we know it. Let us know in the comments below what you think the future holds for air travel. Will our future actually look like the Jetsons cartoons or even Futurama? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more incredibly innovative content.